Without a question, this pandemic has taken a toll on people, but kids may be feeling the impact more, at least more than you might think. Yeah, and joining us right now to talk about this is Matt Scott. Matt, you talked to the experts on ways we can help our kids. Yeah, you know what? And look, we've been doing Family First for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. and I think we all know the three of us when we do the stories. Often we come up with our ideas from our <laughs> yeah, own well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And this is something that's been kind of bubbling a little bit in, in, in the Scott household. You know, looking at the kids stressed out and wondering, okay, are you stressed out because of COVID? Because I'm stressed out because of COVID, but I don't want you to be stressed out because of COVID. And the answer is, if you don't know where the stress is coming from, and you do realize that for the most part, it does look like there is stress kind of bubbling up, even for your kids where there probably shouldn't be stress, it's best to have some conversations. Take a look. You may have heard the analogy when a plane takes on a change in cabin pressure and the oxygen mask drops, you got to put the mask on yourself first so that you can optimally help others. Well, pediatric psychologist Brad Gerson says, it is a reliable and consistent adage for a reason, uh, because that's that's correct. The Connecticut Children's Medical Center psychologist recognizes that the daily stress of day to day life in a new COVID world has been, well, a lot for kids. During these past months, we're really seeing a, a spike in concerns that uh, children and youth are dealing with from anxiety and depression and, and really increased severity of their symptoms. Parent pressures only add to it, but worries about your health, your job, your family. Often it's being projected onto your kids who have a front row seat to your troubles. Add to that the big changes in their routine, virtual learning and changes in ways to be with friends. The grief and the loss that they felt of their consistent routines also the stressors that their families have been feeling in terms of financial stressors, medical complications, uh, and just being out of their normal structured flow of everyday life has made it a very overwhelming place for families. Are they not enjoying life as much? Are they disconnected? What about their moods? Being away from peers and your family and your school community has been hard. How do you uh, delicately uh, broach the topic with, with your kids? So I, I suggest that the, the most profound first step is allowing children and teenagers the opportunity to talk and acknowledge that this is real and giving them permission to feel the feels that they're feeling. And when they're communicating, it's okay to let your kids know that you're not a superhero and stressing too. Is it okay for a parent to share with a child what they're going through, what they're thinking and feeling in this very uncertain age? Uh, not only do I think it's fair, I actually think it's therapeutic. Because in the end, the family thrives when everyone has their oxygen mask on and is breathing normally and freer of stress. Matt Scott, Fox 61 News. Conversation, conversation, conversation. Yep. It's usually the answer for a lot of these family first, but you know what? You got to be talking with because listen, we are all still under uncharted territory, even though we're trying a year in, we're trying to pull ourselves out of this pandemic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And talking, even if you know it's important, mm -hmm. it's still not the easiest thing to start that conversation. No. A and sometimes it's not how. the first time that you try and bring it up that mm -hmm. they'll open up to mm -hmm. you. Right. It takes a few times. Don't like up. a week later, all of a yeah. sudden they like open they up. keep asking, maybe they'll be like, all right, fine. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is what's happening. <laughs> yep. You but know? it's progress. Yeah. All right, Matt, thank you.